Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. Bob's been busy again in his shed and we have some machining work done on the massive pulley that we bought the other week. So that's been machined down on this face here of the boss so that the sprocket will fit on top of it. This is the sprocket, which is the drive sprocket from the Dynastart for starting the engine and is also the driving sprocket when the engine's running to charge the battery. So that locates nicely onto the drive pulley there we go it's got the four holes drilled into it that go uh, line up with the four holes on the end of the crankshaft the actual crankshaft that's going to go in the engine not the mandrel dummy crankshaft that's in the cases that are in the bike and this whole assembly when it's on there it's a nice fit for that spigot there uh, sorry for this spigot here to go into this hole here there's been a fair bit of care taken it's quite heavy as an assembly but i should be able to just man up and put this on here because i've had my weetabix this morning there we go so that that's a, a nice fit and everything here is concentric to the crankshaft it's really important that because if this was slightly off center every revolution the belt would go slightly tight and slightly loose and that would shorten the service life of the belt the same for the sprocket if that wasn't concentric every um every revolution the chain would go tight there'd be a tight spot and a loose spot and it would shorten the service life of the chain as well so we didn't want that at all so they're all concentric the only thing that remains to be done now is to put the four holes into the sprocket all the way through so we'll mark the holes from this side drill them all the way through and then from the other side we'll spot face them so that we can recess the heads of the cap screws and they will bolt the whole thing together nicely when that's bolted together it locks up these uh, bearing inners so the drive seal that goes on there keeps the oil in the engine well, has got um, a nice plain surface to run on and the bearing runs on there and these won't be rotating at all they'll be locked Sorry, it won't be rotating on the shaft. They'll be rotating with the shaft. They'll be locked onto the crankshaft. The crank case comes to about where my finger is. So there is clearance between the crank case and the drive chain for the Dynastart. So all that's looking really quite nice. And it's almost, almost there. In my garage, I've been doing a little bit of parts for the, um, for the oil tank, but they're not going too well because I don't have a 916 UNF tap in here. And I don't have a 916th UNF tap in here. And I don't have a 916 UNF tap in here. I mean die, don't I? These are all dies. You know what I mean. I don't have a 916 UNF die. And that's what I need to make the male thread that goes into the fitting on the end of the Goodrich hose this Goodrich hose that goes into the oil tank. Now, it's not a problem normally, I would just screw cut that on the trusty Myford, but the piece of aluminium I've got from next door isn't machining very well. In fact, it's awful, have a look at this. So there's something about aluminium, either machines really well or it doesn't. And this is an example of how it doesn't. It's probably a couple of different grades and if you get the right grade, it does get you some really nice results. For example, if you remember the adapter that we made to get the carburetor onto the manifold, that's machined that absolutely superb. We screw cut the inside of it, no problem at all. So it must be a different grade of aluminium. But when you're working with whatever you've got lying around, there's your sort of bit of a lottery. So that's probably going in the scrap bin. And uh, I'll have to order something that's the right sort of size and the right grade sort of free machining aluminium. The last little job I've been looking at is the Jones and Shipman 540 because over the break, I really want to get this commissioned. Now you notice that the front is off that machine and that's because when I finally connected up the three phase converter, it ran for a few moments and then it sounded like crackling bacon in there and there were a few wisps of smoke and then there was a bang and then everything's gone off. So I've had a bit of a look and I've done what everybody does after they blow something up. I then went and read the manual. I think this transformer here is fried. There was a lot of goo that has kind of leaked out the bottom of it that I've cleaned up. And if I disconnect these, don't worry, everything's off. This isn't electro boom. If I disconnect these two wires from the transformer, the, uh, the, the whole thing sits there. And, and I imagine that if this is a DC supply to the switch to pull in electromagnet to, to energize the, the the two motors one for the wheel head and one for the the pump um, but 
if, if I connect these two back into the transformer, everything trips instantly. So there must be a short circuit in here somewhere. So I'm probably looking at a new transformer. Uh, my mate Matt's going to come round in a bit and help us out. You remember him? He's the guy, Matt, in the bear hat from, from Matt Shed, and he's quite good at this type of thing. So that's a little bit unfortunate, and perhaps it was avoidable, but it's not really the end of the world. But I'm really hoping that this machine comes to life, and then I get to, I get to, to actually use it. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use it for yet but I'm sure it'll be like most things where when you've had it for a bit you, you wonder how you ever got by without it the only thing I don't have I've got the dust extraction but I don't have a suds feed for it and I probably need to, to get something rigged up but one step at a time that's one of the next jobs on the list not an awful lot else done on the bike itself I had a bit of a play around with the seat but only a little play around with the seat that needs to, a, a bit of work doing on that but you know it's getting to the festive season and we've all got jobs to do and things to wrap so there's other things I need to get on with anyway that's the update from today and the past couple of days as usual thank you for watching more updates will follow